Halo 7, the video game, the TV show 2022, starts off as a blatantly mediocre copy of The Mandalorian. This does not intrinsically make Halo a bad show. Instead, everything else does. The characters are unilaterally uninteresting. The plot strays wildly from the existing lore. The CGI continues to prove that CGI is not indistinguishable from reality. And the characterization of Master Chief falls flat, and instead of the man of few words action hero, we receive a fully faced, emotional, non committal analog for puberty. I I felt confused and disoriented by this drastic shift until I found out that none of the people in charge of making the show have ever really played the games. I'm not here to complain and bemoan the fate of the show, but I do want to say what a massive missed opportunity. A show like this, if done really well, could have rocketed Halo back into relevance. By making a bad show and worst of all locking it behind a subscription paywall, the franchise failed to capitalize on a potential success. All my reviews are brutal and honestly often misogynistic and borderline racist, although I'm not sure what I expected from the people who played Halo on Xbox. Live. If you aren't interested in watching a train wreck and you aren't a huge fan of the series, I can't recommend it. Oh, Paramount has also been cracking down wildly on reviews of Halo the video game The Show. Some of this is justified, but even this video had to be re-edited to cut certain content even though it complied with fair use as far as I could tell. Let me know what you think of the show in the comments below. If you have any recommendations of what you'd like to see next, let me know. 69 Second Reviews hopes you've enjoyed this presentation.